Hello, very welcome to you. This is the video presentation of the SQC workbook. We are very happy that you have uh, shown great interest in participating in this Total Quality Education Program and I hope that you will turn out to have a very exciting time to learn about what quality is and how to improve yourself using scientific approach to problem solving. The next few years that you are with us, we hope that you will gain great insight into being how to be a professional person and to deliver high quality work and services. I'm your host, Andre Lim, the director of Lanka Institute of Quality Management. This is, is the first lecture of our series. You need to have the SUC workbook to follow us along in this program. If you do not have this workbook, you should see your facilitator and get a copy. If you don't have it with you now, please please pause your video and bring one along and then you can restart. If you have, let's begin. You should turn to page one of your workbook. It should look like this. Definitions. What is TQE? Total Quality Education. This is important that you understand what TQE is. To, in total quality education, we believe that the program has to be voluntary. It is an integration of all the academic and other functions in the education institution, your schools, whether it's a university, a college, a primary school or secondary school. And you will need the support of all the other stakeholders. I will show you a a, um, a diagram who these stakeholders are who will help you to be developed into the total quality student. Uh, the environment is important, therefore the school or the educational institute will need to make necessary st steps and improvement so that you will be provided an environment that will, f that will foster quality habits, develop your good thinking, culture, and to have a high goal of excellence in education. In the end, what we need is to develop a work-ready individual. This, uh, these are the stakeholders that will be involved. The industry, the country, parents, the school principal, the school, teachers, and you yourself. I say herself here means also himself. This is generic to develop the total quality student. What is a total quality student? There are only three main factors. These three main areas will define what a total quality student is. Number one, to quality conscious. A total quality student maintains a high standard of work. Preventing defects is the most important. Do not create defect and then try to solve it. This is not productive. You should always think of prevention because you know what they say. An ounce of prevention is worth a ton of cure. So prevent defect. You should do work which is defect free. You have to do work that exceeds expectation, meeting deadlines while keeping costs low. Don't spend big money to solve small problems. You minimize waste. Everything that you do, just use what is necessary. Develops oneself capability to ensure high productivity. Work fast. Don't work slow. Customer is king. You must believe this, you know, you are not the king, customer is the king. If you can't believe this, then you'll never deliver good quality service. 
treat next process as important customer. Whoever that you are servicing downstream is the customer. Maintain good hygiene and personal experience. Look good, smell good. Make sure that all your fingernails are clean, haircut is neat, shoes are clean. Then you know, people will know that you are a quality person. You know, Keep a lookout on quality, productivity, health and safety issues. And take personal responsibility for preventive action. When you see something wrong, be proactive. Don't wait for someone to tell you to take action. You will be the first to recognize when there is going to be a problem in safety or quality. And you alert the, the people who are responsible. Or if there's no one around and it's urgent, solve the problem first. Do some corrective actions. When mistakes occur, acknowledge it, take corrective actions, and prevent future occurrences. To be good means giving respect to other people like your teachers, elders, respecting the, respecting the rules and regulations of your schools, institutions, the rule of the land, religions and belief of other people as well. Respect these, very important. Having good manners and accepting responsibility and accountability. Don't push the blame on other people. Don't tell lies to make other people look bad. If you are accountable, you are responsible, accept it. Accept it like a man, and then you or a woman of, of integrity, and then you take the necessary action to, to uh, change yourself. So the important thing is to prevent mistakes. If you, if you prevent mistakes, then you don't get yourself into a difficult situation. Having high moral compass, you need to have good guidance where your morals are, to be kind, compassionate, and having concern about the environment. You'll be the last to make the environment dirty. You'll be the first to take action to even pick up pieces of paper on the floor, think of ways to reduce the carbon emission, think of ways to, to um, recycle, and so on. Smart. Smart means study hard. Giving, having good results as best as you can be. Not every student will be the top in class. We don't expect that, but we do expect you to work hard because that's the smart thing to do. The silly things to do will be to watch television, go to movies, play a fool. Smart thing is to work hard because that's important for your future. Make use of available talents and the capabilities and the ability to meet your personal, personal responsibilities. Use critical and creative thinking. Okay, don't guess. Think carefully. Question convention. Constantly acquiring profound knowledge. Your facilitator will explain this. For continual improvements. Okay, never be satisfied. Keep improving and make use of science and technology to solve problems to benefit mankind while applying scientific problem solving. Okay, the, is to better mankind. Well, we have come to the end of session one, and uh, we hope that you will continue with us and go. And I look forward to seeing you at session number two. Thank you.